confusion as Masab attacks Sohan's Ndigbo. There is confusion between Masab and the leadership of Ohan's Ndigbo. Masab said it is unfortunate that the Ndigbo leadership did not feel its pains before now. Masab said the leadership of Ndigbo has proven that it cannot be trusted. The movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masab, on Tuesday, July 11, expressed its dissatisfaction over leadership Ohan's Ndigbo. Masab said Ndigbo has failed completely, saying that it is going to make Biafran land too hot for the shameless, greedy, self-centered politicians who cannot see the handwriting on the wall. Reports have it it made this known in a statement issued by its National Director of Information, Comrade Insan Samuel, adding that Ndigbo is selfish. The statement notes, while, we disagree with the call for restructuring by Ohans and Digbo. Masab wishes to commend the Southeast, South South governors for coming together for their meeting held last Saturday in Anugu, even though the meeting to us was a total failure. The governors have indeed, this time taken a bold step for coming together which is important for the two regions. The unity of these two regions is very important for us. We urge these governors to reactivate the dilapidated infrastructures and abandoned companies in the two regions, instead of relying and waiting in vain on the federal government of Nigeria to cite any federal government project in these two regions, which it will not do because of the hatred for the people of these regions who are mostly Biafrans. We, the members of the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masab, under the leadership of Mazi Akinamid who have passed a vote of no confidence on the leadership of Ohans and Ndigbo because of their lackluster attitude towards the affairs of Ndigbo and Biafra in general. These men, the Ohans and Ndigbo leadership whom we thought feel our pains before now, have shown us who they are and we have discovered that they are pursuing personal and egocentric desires. We never knew before now that they are not working for Ndigbo and Biafrans in general. They want to destroy our future and in the process, have destroyed their own future because of their immediate need to enrich themselves. They have exposed themselves and we now know them better. According to Masab, the leadership of Ohans and Ndigbo has proven that they cannot be trusted. Their opposition against referendum has shown that they do not have Igbo interest at heart. While many respected Igbo leaders and leaders from other parts of the country are clamoring for referendum, it is very clear that the leadership of Ohans and Igbo has nothing to offer in Igbo but using the organization to get contracts from Abuja. Masab is warning Ohans and Igbo to retrace their steps towards Biafran issue because we will not allow them to jeopardize our future and that of our children. A lot of blood has been shed because of Biafra and we cannot let that blood be in vain. Masab will never accept restructuring because there is no amount of restructuring that will save Nigeria from disintegration. The leadership of Ohans and Digbo has failed Ndigbo completely. We are going to make Biafran land too hot for the shameless, greedy, self-centered politicians who cannot see the handwriting on the wall. Com had reported that the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masab, on Sunday, July 2, accused the Southeast leaders of betraying the struggle for Biafra. The group made this statement while reacting to the statement by Southeast governors, traditional leaders and Oans, that Nigeria will remain united.